Peter is going to attack me from below. I have put my left foot forward and my messer on my right leg. Now I step into the attack and displace with the half displacement with my point below. Then I catch his messer with my left arm. And finally I let my messer go up and cut him through his face. Now, for safety reasons, I obviously don't cut Peter through his face in this presentation, but we're gonna get there later. To make this play work properly, it's essential to catch the incoming attack low, so you don't get any problems wrapping your arm around it from above. Also, I feel more comfortable not only catching the messer, as the text suggests, but also catch the attacker's arm or hand, just to have a bit more control and make sure they don't get away that easily. Now, we all know this wonderful Talhofer depiction. Well, the eighth play of the Glasgow manuscript is not that. As you can Peter see doing in this wonderful textbook application of the Talhofer thing, it goes against an incoming attack from above, while the eighth messer play of the Glasgow Fechtbuch goes against an attack from below. Difference is, Talhofer catches a buff and wraps their arm around from the inside, while Glasgow catches below and wraps their arm around from the outside. To wrap your arm around correctly, go over from the outside, downwards, over to the inside, upwards and over to the outside again. Try to make it this corkscrew motion and wrap it around your opponent's arm or messer as quickly and as close as possible. When having wrapped your arm around, make sure to either put your elbow close to your body or apply a certain torque to their wrists so they're not able to pull their hand out as easily. Also, make sure not to get your messer tangled up with their messer while wrapping your arm or you might get into trouble finishing up the technique. Catch your opponent's messer below, bring it to a full or semi-stop and then guide it under your arm to go in for the catch. This might take a try or two to get the movement pattern figured out correctly, but once you've done it, it will become a natural thing quite quickly, as you can see. Now, as a wrap-up, it's not the Talhofer. Start from the outside, go over, under and over again, play it either close to your own body or apply a certain torque to your opponent's wrist and try not to get your own messer tangled up. As always, we've also recorded some pressure testing for you. Just as per usual, please keep in mind, even though we do try to resist and get out of the grip, this is still a setup situation and we both know what's going to happen. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching, have fun training and see you soon.